In this question we're given a differential equation which satisfies the growth of a tree in metres. Now then, in part one we're asked to write down the value of h for which dh by dt equals zero. Now for dh by dt to equal zero we would need 20 minus h to equal zero. So in other words we need h to equal 20. So when h equals 20, then dh by dt equals 0. Now the significance is, is that this is the max height of the tree. Once the tree reaches this height, then it stops growing. So h no longer changes. So 20 metres is the max height of this tree. In part two, we're asked to verify that the given formula satisfies this differential equation. Now then, h equals 20 brackets 1 minus e to the minus 0.1t. We must first of all check that when t equals 0, h does indeed equal 0. Does it actually satisfy the given condition? Well, when t equals 0, h equals 20, 1 minus e, when t is 0, minus 0.1 times 0 is 0. So 20, 1 minus e to the power of 0 is 1. So 20 times 1 take away 1, 20 times 0 equals 0. So yes, when t equals 0, h does equal 0, so the tree does start at a height of 0 metres. So it satisfies the given condition. But does this actually satisfy the differential equation? Right then, h equals, we'll expand the bracket, 20 take away 20 e to the minus 0.1 t. If I now find dh by dt, 20 differentiates to 0, but this differentiates to minus 20, we times by minus 0.1, and then keep the exponential the same. So dh by dt equals minus 20 times minus 0.1 is 2e to the minus 0.1t. So I've now found an expression for dh by dt. Okay, so let's go back to the original differential equation. 10 lots of dh by dt equals 10 lots of this, which is 20e to the minus 0.1t. So the left hand side equals 20e to the minus 0.1 times t. But 20 minus h, if this is correct, is 20 minus h, 20 minus 20e to the minus 0.1t, which equals 20 minus 20 plus, 2 minuses plus, 20e to the minus 0.1t. They cancel out. So 10 dh by dt equals this. 20 minus h equals this. They are the same, so therefore this is indeed a solution to the given differential equation.